it. Hey guys, welcome into this new video. So in this tutorial, let's take a look of how we can uh, send money here, how to deposit money here in order buy or sell some cryptos here. So the first thing you want to do guys is to go into your account here. As you can see, it's already opened. Now if you find your wallet here and your order, uh, the first thing you want to do is to go into the one that says wallet and let's go into funds overview. So once you are in here guys, what you guys want to do is to find your funds, which is actually in here in this part account where we want to deposit uh, some money here. So let's go and select the option that says deposit, which is in here. Now in my case, I have to verify just uh, real quick my account in order for making a uh, transaction here. So I'm gonna click into verify this real quick. So meanwhile, this is being set up. Let's go ahead and open mm -hmm. here our Binance account. So once we are in here, the first thing you want to do is to locate your USDT in order to be sending it into your uh, gate.io account. So what I want to do is to go into my wallet and fiat and spot. Once I am in here, I want to withdraw one of my tokens. In our case, that would be the USDT. As you can see here is USDT. So I'm going to select this. And now this is going to be asking us for an address and a network. So in that case, let's go back into gate.io. I'm going to go into my wallet. I'm going to go into my funds overview. What I want to do is to go into my uh, spot account. I'm going to go into the deposit. And this one, as you can see, appears by default to Theta USDT. So I'm going to leave this like that. If you don't see it like that, then just go and select the USDT Theta and then select the BSC chain. I strongly recommend you guys to use this one because this is the most cheapest one speaking about paying some gas fee. So this is the address that's gonna be created and acting So I'm gonna copy this address. I'm gonna go back into my Binance and I want to paste the address. Now, if we exit a little bit in there, I'm gonna go into my network and the match networks automatically moved to select the network below. In our case, remember it's the BSC gotta be really sure guys to use exactly the same network otherwise you might lose your money so be really careful with that as you can see here's the fee the total amount that we have to pay as you can see comparing with the others uh, network this is really really low guys so after you select this one it says that are you really sure I'm gonna say yes I'm sure and then what you guys want to do is to put the amount that you want to send using your spot or your funding wallet now what you guys want to do is to see how much you're going to be paying and just click into withdraw once you've done that here when it says with recent withdrawals you're going to see that here is your transaction here and this one says pending one it says completed now you can go into your gate.io go into your funds overview once again and you might see that the total asset value has increased of a total amount that you've just sent through Binance. If you haven't seen your money yet, you can go into your Binance once again, select your wallet, and go into transaction history. If you see that the transaction that you just made says on the status completed, that means the money has been sent and you might see it already into your gate.io as a USDT, guys. So there you have it. Just let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more about Gate.io and or Binance. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.